we said that the spiritual life was God's plan for each of us. God's plan was that you each would come here to this world to do a certain job. That's it. Actually, the job doesn't matter so much, except insofar as God knows what it is for each of us. But it doesn't really matter much whether in the world's eyes it's important or unimportant, whether it is apparently forwarding God's cause or not. That, those actually are unimportant questions. The important thing is that God knew what he was putting you here on earth to do. It may have been to be a custodian, and that it's not the buildings that you will clean, but it is the beauty of Jesus that will be brought about in you for others to see. It may not be that you are a very important accountant, but that in your character during the trials and the difficulties and the tasks that you face there, there will be a beauty of Jesus created by the Holy Spirit in you that will set forth the wholeness of God to the rest of his world. But that's why God put us here. And so his plan was that each of us would find that thing and we would begin to do it with all our hearts. And of course, that would give us a great sense of our identity and a great sense of our position in the world, a great sense of being at home in his world. And that meanwhile, we would get to know him more and more. And we would live off his friendship, really. And we would lean on his shoulders. And we would walk with him day by day, and we would talk with him about what he wanted to do through us that day, how he wanted this job to be done, how he wanted our home to look. We would walk with God as Adam once did in the cool of the day in the garden. And we would get our directions from him, and we would get our full enjoyment from him. It would be like knowing all the most important people in the world and having them as your dearest friends. That's what it would be like knowing God like that. You'd feel you were in constant touch with the very heart of the universe. And that would, in its turn, give you a great sense of stability. Yes, I know where this place is going. I know what it's in aid of. I know what's happening. And so there'd be a great sense of happiness in you, a great sense of direction, a great sense of identity in your life, and, of course, a tremendous sense of security and safety. Because you would have the feeling that the God who controlled the Milky Way knew exactly what you were doing each moment of every day. That was God's will. That's the spiritual life. The spiritual life is a life lived in total dependence upon God, receiving from Him all our happiness, all our security, all our significance, so that we don't need to try to get that from other people or other things but we indeed can share the sense of it that we have in our own lives. That's the spiritual life. First 